So good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Garcia. And what I am doing tonight is I am getting some clients started using our Optavia guide. So every client, when they order their program, their lifestyle program, they receive this little guide in their box of food. And so um, I'm going to go over how to get started um, on the program. So um, this is what the Optavia guide looks like. And if everyone will go to uh, page eight and we will start there. So on page eight, what I want you to see here is that this is so much more than a diet. Um, so you see this stair step here and we're gonna be starting, or you as a new client is going to be starting with step two. And step two is achieving a healthy weight. However, as you are starting the program and uh, getting into fat burn and moving that scale, you're also going to be adopting and learning habits of health. So things like hydration and movement and uh, sleep, um, all of the things that support weight loss and will support keeping that weight loss um, off for life. And so again, we don't want you to be in the diet mentality. This is a lifestyle uh, program and that's what's so exciting. So next I want you to um, move ahead to page 14. So pages 14 um, through uh, 22 are the pages that cover the five in one plan. So that's where everybody is starting uh, on the program. We do have other programs, but the people on this call are starting the five in one plan. So what that means is you're going to be eating five fuelings a day, and you're going to be eating one healthy meal of your own every day. We describe that healthy meal as a five and one. And, um, and it looks, you know, it can look as delicious as this picture here, um, vegetables and, um, and some protein. So again, the lean and green meal that you are going to consume every day is lean protein and vegetables or a salad it's also going to include healthy uh, fats. And so scroll to page 18. And page 18 is, I call it the green page. Um, and the green page covers the protein portion of your lean and green meal. And so, um, and I forgot to mention, when you get up every morning, because you're on the five in one plan, pick out your five fuelings for the day. You're going to eat your first fueling within an hour of getting up. That breaks the fast, it gets your metabolism going. And then once you get that first fueling in, you want to set your phone alarm for two and a half to three hours. So two and a half to three hours after the first fueling, you're gonna have your second fueling. Set your phone alarm, two and a half to three hours, you'll have your third fueling. So typically um, you'll have four fuelings and then your lean and green uh, meal, which is most people will have that for their evening meal, but it really can be consumed anytime during the day. If it's a Sunday and you're going out to brunch after church, that can be your lean and green meal. So it can be consumed anytime during the day and throughout the day, you're, you're consuming five fuelings. So let's go back to the protein portion of your lean and green meal on this page 18, which is the green page. If you are eating from the top of the page where it says leanest, these are some of the leanest proteins that are out there. So that would be something like the tilapia, uh, shrimp, scallops, for example, um, light turkey meat. So if you're eating from the top, that would be a seven ounce cooked portion. 
And notice that you need two healthy fat servings, not necessarily at the same time as your lean and green meal. We're going to cover the, uh, the healthy fats in just a minute. If you're eating from the middle of the page, what's described as leaner, that would typically be a chicken breast. Um, it could be um, ground turkey. It could be a pork chop, pork tenderloin. That would be a six ounce cooked portion. And you're only gonna need one healthy fat serving because these proteins have a little bit more fat. There's some fish that's mentioned there too, swordfish, trout, halibut. Um, so it really um, would be important to uh, purchase a food scale if you don't already have one. Um, if you're eating from the bottom of the page, what's described as lean, uh, that would be typically uh, beef, lamb, uh, dark chicken, dark turkey, but it would also include salmon. Salmon we know is a healthy fish, but salmon has um, its own healthy fat. So this, this would be a five ounce cooked portion if you're doing the beef or the salmon um, and no additional fats would be added um, because these have it, uh, their own um, fats. And you can also substitute three whole eggs for um, the uh, for any of the, the meat. Um, if you go to the next page, which is page uh, 15, at the bottom of at the top of page 15, it describes the healthy fats. Now most of us get our fats from fried food, um, from you know greasy sausage and bacon and things like that. So they're not listed in the healthy fats. And if you notice, the healthy fats is a pretty short list. So if you need two fat servings because you're having the shrimp, then you can take anything on this list and double it. For instance, instead of one and a half ounces of avocado, um, you could have three ounces of avocado and that would give you your two fats. Or you could pick two different uh, fats. Nuts are, are listed here. Um, it says uh, a third of an ounce. On a separate page, I'm gonna, we're gonna revisit nuts and um, and I like the other page because it has you count them out. So be a little bit careful about nuts because if you don't count them out, uh, you can have uh, too many and, and that would give you too many fats. So anything that's listed here is uh, fair game. If you're doing salad dressing, you want to choose a low calorie, low carb uh, salad dressing and um, and we've got uh, a condiment list uh, with our company that we can uh, get to you. Actually, here is it says uh, condiment and healthy fat list. It looks like uh, this might even well, it's not going to be an active link. Um, uh, it's going to be under Optavia client answers, so we can get your coach can get you that uh, condiment list. Um, and next, we're going to go to the green part of your lean and green. So if you look down one paragraph, it says choose three servings from our green options list below for your lean and green meal. And then at the bottom of this section, it says a serving equals a half a cup of vegetables unless otherwise specified. So if you're having the asparagus, the green beans, the cauliflower, the broccoli, it would be one and a half cups would give you your three servings. However, what if you are having salad instead of, you know, um, the vegetables that I just mentioned or other vegetables? What if you're having salad? Look at the box that says lower carbohydrate because a serving of leaves, whether that's spinach, romaine, mixed greens, um, is not a, a half a cup, that would be hardly anything at all. Um, a serving of greens is a full packed cup. So let's use the example of a spinach salad. If you were gonna have a spinach salad with your lean protein, you could have say two packed cups of spinach leaves that gives you two servings. 
And then you still have a half a cup left of something to add to your um, salad. Maybe it's diced cucumber, maybe it's mushrooms, radishes, and so on and so forth. Anything in these three boxes is fair game for your lean and green, regardless of whether it says lower carbohydrate, moderate, or higher carbohydrate. But look at the footnote on page 19. Anything that's in this footnote, those vegetables are too high in carbs. And so you want to um, wait until you've got gotten to your goal weight to introduce those vegetables back. So what are some of those vegetables? Carrots, corn, peas, potatoes um, are some of them, Brussels sprouts. So those are too high in glycemic index. So it's not that they're bad. It's just that uh, they're not going to help you with your weight loss. Um, so now we're going to go to um, page uh, 21. And at the top of page 21, it says optional snacks. So in addition to your five fuelings and your lean and green meal every day, you can have one optional snack. And notice the first line, it says Optavia puff snacks or Optavia popcorn. You don't have those in your box of food. Um, those are considered a snack, not a full fueling. And they're really small. You know, a, a, the Optavia popcorn is literally one little handful and it's 70 calories. So um, again, don't, don't get distracted by um, this Optavia um, uh, snacks, you don't have those. Um, but you could have three stalks of celery. You could have two dill pickles, spheres, or two small dill pickles. And here's the nuts as an optional snack. So the nuts can be used as um, your healthy fats, but they can also be used as a healthy um, uh, snack uh, or an optional snack. So notice that if you're choosing the almonds, you wanna count out 10 almonds, walnuts, seven walnut halves, or 10 pistachios um, would be either your optional snack or if you're using them for your, um, your healthy uh, fats. Um, the reason the dill pickles are there uh, to clarify on those is that um, with this program, it's a low salt, low sodium program. So in the first three days, you may feel hungry because you're not in fat burn yet. You know, usually fat burn happens day three or day four, but you also may feel a little washed out, a little brain fog, um, you know, low energy. And that may be because you need a little bit of salt in your diet go with the dill pickles. You could also have a cup of chicken bouillon or you could have a Powerade Zero, um, but that will help replenish uh, some of that salt. So you you know perk up uh, until you get into fat burn. Uh, so that might be the perfect snack for you. Um, if we um, go another um, page to page 22, at the top of page 22, it talks about optional condiments. And so um, you've got to watch condiments. They can add a lot of calories uh, to your uh, diet, to your program. Um, so notice the last sentence of this first paragraph. You can enjoy up to three condiment servings a day on the five-in-one plan. So let's look at the last bullet point. If you like um, putting something in your coffee or tea, you know, some of you might use milk or cream, a great substitute, which is allowed on the program is uns uh, unsweetened original or unsweetened vanilla almond or cashew milk. And you can have up to a full cup and it only counts as one condiment. The make sure it's unsweetened. The unsweetened almond milk is about 25 calories. The sweetened is about 130 calories. So you want to make sure it's the unsweetened. 
You can also use the almond milk. Some of you have uh, crunch cereal in your uh, box of food. You might have some oatmeal in there. Um, so if you wanted to use the almond milk. Um, I like to give the example also of burgers. Let's say it's a beautiful day. It's kind of you know getting into um, uh, cold now. So maybe you're not doing as much grilling, but let's say you're grilling some burgers for dinner for you and your family, or maybe you're just frying them on, in the frying pan. Since it's beef, it would be a five ounce portion. Uh, you would eat yours without the bun. Maybe your family is going to have the burgers too, and they're going to uh, eat theirs with the bun, but yours would be without the bun. And look at the third bullet point. A condiment of mustard is a is one tablespoon. So if you are a mustard person, you could have up to three tablespoons if you haven't had any other condiments for the day. And, um, and that's quite a bit of mustard, as you know. But what if you're a ketchup person? Look at the first bullet point. A condiment of ketchup is a half a teaspoon. So one and a half teaspoons of ketchup, versus three tablespoons of mustard. What is the difference? The difference is sugar. Lots of sugar in ketchup, uh, ditto for uh, barbecue sauce. So you have to watch the condiments. Um, another place to be careful is with, um, um, oh, what was, I lost my train of thought. Another place to be careful, oh, is salad dressings. So stay away from the creamy salad dressings. Um, if you go to a fast food restaurant and you get that little packet of salad dressing, maybe a blue cheese or a creamy ranch, they're like 400 calories. Um, so you wanna stay with the low calorie, low carb uh, salad dressings. Um, so now we're gonna go to page uh, 28. And page 28 is that beautiful glass of water. And this reminds me to talk about beverages. So one of the things that is important for our program is to adequately hydrate. So you want to consume at least 64 ounces of water a day. You can, you can drink more, but you want to get yourself up to 64 ounces of water a day uh, my recommendation is to get a water bottle that you know holds whatever amount, let's say it holds um, 20 ounces and you know you've got to get you know three of those in for the day, maybe a little bit more because that would give you 60 ounces. If you've got a water bottle that holds 32 ounces, then you know you've got to get two of those a day. Um, so water is very important. You can have coffee, you can have tea. But if you put something in your coffee or your tea, um, pay attention. You know, if you're putting um, a cream or milk, switch that over to the unsweetened almond milk. It counts as one condiment. If you sweeten your coffee or tea, uh, the artificial sweeteners, one packet is a condiment. So you want to keep track of those. Um, refrain from alcohol while you're on the weight loss phase because it can. Uh, throw you out of fat burn, especially, um, you know, wine, which is, has a lot of sugar in it, or the sweet mixed drinks, um, uh, hard liquor like a vodka um, is, you know, has lower carbs, lower calories. Uh, so if it's a special occasion and you make, um, you know, a, a conscious decision to have a drink on your anniversary or your birthday, maybe um, a vodka drink with sparkling water or a diet soda or on the rocks would be a much better choice than some of the other things. Um, now we wanna go to the very last page of the Optavia guide. And I think it's on page uh, 40, I'm gonna go to 43, I think it is. Um, yes, so the very last page of the Optavia guide. This is a page where you want to write in your coach information because it's really handy if you have your Optavia guide with you, if you're you know, working outside the home, if you're going to a restaurant, 
if you're going to the grocery store, you know, have your Optavia guide with you because it's a great way to do a quick check. Oh yeah, I can have five ounces of salmon um, and the vegetables should be this or that. Um, so here on this last page, um, write in your coach's information. And then if you log into your account, optavia.com and um, with your email, so here you can write the website, optavia.com. You see the spelling at the top. And underneath website, uh, the way you log in is your entire email and the passcode that your coach created for you, which is likely the word welcome. The W is capitalized. The rest of it is lowercase. Welcome one exclamation mark. So you can write that below here. Uh, you can always change your passcode or you can keep it. Um, the same, but when you log into your online account in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see your client ID and you can write it in here. Um, and then your coach can give you uh, the other pieces of information. The other thing that I like for clients to do is at the top of the page, write down the order department number. It's 888 Optavia. So here's the Optavia again. 888 Optavia, and they're open seven days a week. Um, and um, so, and your coach can give you the times, but they're open uh, quite, quite a lot. And then in the lower left-hand corner of this same page, um, your coach can give you, uh, and you can actually see it when you log into your online account, uh, when your first order was. So I like to write first order, let's say it was October 25th, um, because then I can explain how the auto ship works. You're all, you've all been placed on an auto ship. We call that a uh, premier, a premier account. And the reason for the auto ship is so that you get the best pricing. You got free shipping, you got $121 of free product, um, you got all those booklets, um, you know, you got your uh, big books, the habitsofhealth.com and the life book. Um, so you get a lot of perks with that first um, order. And so the way the auto ship works is if your order was placed on October 25th, and I put first order October 25th, then your next order will be November 25th, December 25th. However, you can go into your account and um, you know if you need to move your order up or push it back a little bit, then it will reset that auto ship. Um, your coach will also help you keep um, track of it um, you will get two email reminders from the company seven and four days before that next shipment. So that gives you plenty of time to go in and alter your next order so that you don't get the same thing um, because you're going to love some of the foods that you got and maybe not be so crazy about other of the foods. So you have plenty of time to go in and your coach will also send you uh, a little video as the time gets closer. Usually we send that on uh, around day 10 um, and it's about four minutes and it tells you exactly how to um, alter uh, or customize your, your next order. So that is it in a nutshell. On the day that you start, you want to hop on the scale first thing in the morning after you empty your bladder and then text that start weight to your coach. Um, and then she can record that to compare to your future, you know, weigh-ins. Um, and um, but jump in, have fun. Your coach will be reaching out to you for the uh first, you know, several days to make sure that you're um you're fine, you don't have any questions, but know that you can reach out to your coach at any time especially in the first couple of weeks when you're acclimating to the program. But enjoy the journey and know that, you know, you are creating that better version of yourself. So congratulations.